Hey Pisces, welcome to your reading. Do you guys like my sweater? <laughs> Apparently they make sweaters now that, that do this. And I, I'm not really sure how much I like it either. <laughs> I'm honestly, I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore about style, but whatever. <laughs> like what is this supposed to warm exactly? My upper body, I guess. Um. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna get into your reading now. Pisces. Okay. I feel like someone has been crying today about something. Mars, Mars energy. Okay. So Mars is very aggressive. This is very, this is very, um, emotional. Um, some of you could be struggling with impulsivity. So maybe like, you know, impulse eating, drinking, buying, things like that, or even just like, um, let's say you're sorry. It's like really beautiful outside. There's like, um, like yellow hues, but like a really purpley blue cloud, um, anyway, so some of you could struggle with like also like seeing things on the internet, like on Facebook, Instagram, or any sort of social media, um, or, you know, dating app or something. And you could possibly struggle with just paying attention to like your, your feelings and your impulses after you do that. Like, so you could struggle with envy maybe. And like, you could notice that, you know, after you see something you really want, you, your mood kind of gets weird and you, you know, start doing weird things. It's like, you want to just recognize that because that's all kind of not good for you. That's a little toxic towards yourself, you know, um, renewal here. So Pluto energy, which is a Scorpio. Did I get Scorpio on this one too? Yeah. There's a lot of Scorpio here. I feel like someone has a, a lot of Scorpio in their chart again. That was getting that yesterday too. Um, something about beginnings, endings, rebirth, turbulence, destruction, hidden power. Okay. So some of you might actually have like some sort of like connection to the spirit world in, in some sort of way. Um, so maybe you have noticed things or you're able to, you, you can be very intuitive to the point where like you kind of like suspect things and then like they happen or maybe you get, you have very strange dreams and then they come to reality. Healing here with Chiron energy. Um, you could be feeling very vulnerable, vulnerable right now. Um, Lilith. Okay. Something is taboo here. You feeling, I'm just feeling a very sexual energy from you, Pisces. Um, you have a lot of desires here. Um, you could be getting into more fetishy type stuff or just like kind of um, exploring new options, you know. Virgo energy with, isn't that also Scorpio? I want to say a little bit of Scorpio energy too. No. It's like embracing your dark side though. I'm, I'm feeling that like some of you are really growing into some sort of like ability that you didn't know that you had. The perfectionist here with Virgo energy. Um, some of you could be like a little too skeptical of yourself or judge yourself too hard. Um, you know, that's, it's a hard thing to overcome, right? Um, yeah. It's one of those things that you, that like I still struggle with and I'm like, I'm 37 years old. You know what I mean? So it's like... <laughs> Oh, goodness. I'm trying to let stuff like that go though, because it's just not worth it. It's like really, really not. It's like for every for every person I feel like not I don't I don't want to say like I'm always envious of other people, but like if I'm just like, oh I wish I had like better I don't know, lips or something, or a nicer this or that, or I wish I was skinnier. It's just like that person probably looks at me and goes, man, I wish I had a bigger butt. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, kind of like, why do we ever do that? It's just, it's just silly. Okay. 
So I'm seeing the, um, it's actually the cancer card, but it was blatantly obviously, blatantly obvious as a 69. So some of you are feeling very horny right now. Okay. All right. So what's the energy for Pisces? Mm. Some of you have a secret crush that came straight out on top of this. Actually, I want to see what this is first. So secret crush. Ooh, drastic, extreme, harsh, cut off. Some of you could be getting a new car as well. I'm getting something about lighting, like the lighting in someone's house or something. Hmm. All right. I'm actually feeling a pretty heavy energy. Um... It's kind of like weighing down on my shoulders, my head. Okay, so I don't know. We'll get there. What's going on with that? Mask. Okay. Hidden mo motive, conceal, disguise, lying. I almost wanted to knock the deck again. I'm feeling a little bit of a negative energy. Sorry, I'm just getting a little creeped out. It's weird. <laughs> Don't know why. Okay, um, party here with celebration, event, public, um, social gathering. So some of you could be going out to a party. Mm, okay. Third party here, interference, cheating, competition, mistress, and divine intervention. Okay. So guys, I just want to say as well, if this does not resonate with your current situation, please do not make it fit to your scenario. Okay, so not every message is going to be for the same person. It's usually people that, you know, like and subscribe to the channel because I'm constantly getting their energies. And if not, then, you know, um, you know, just check another reading, check all your placements, check your sun, moon, rising or your planet placements. Um... Because some of these can get, you know, I don't want you to, <laughs> like, if you're in a happy relationship, I don't want you to be like, oh, excuse me, are you cheating on me? And they're like, what? No. And like, you're, and they're totally not. You know what I mean? So I'm getting, so with divine, I think, I feel like I've been getting a lot of, um, a lot more like twin flame readings lately. And I feel like more twins are like watching the channel or something because I'm, I'm feeling like there's some sort of twin soulmate situation going on here with divine intervention. What is going on? I'm feeling like a we like a really weird energy. Like I don't know how to explain it. It's like fuzzy, like kind of like there's about to be a thunderstorm, but I don't think there is. Okay. Bounty hunter, chaser, hot pursuit. Okay. Chast chastity, chastity. Okay. Um, okay. So some of you could be into like chastity or maybe someone's name is, is chastity a name? No. What am I thinking? That's a name. Not Chelsea. Ch 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 oh God. What is that name? Whatever. It'll come out if it needs to come out. Whatever. Maybe some of you just like chastity and that's what you're into. That's fine. That's cool. It's nothing wrong with that. So anyway, um, here was the drastic, I'm hearing the name Derek. What else? Okay. All right. For some of you, I feel like you're kind of in some sort of weird ghosted situation. You could be waiting for someone to respond to you. That's just like what I'm feeling with the seven of pentacles right now. I just feel like he's just like waiting. You know what I mean? Um, and also with the drastic extreme harsh cutoff, that's kind of the message that's coming in. Um, it's just like someone here is waiting for something. Okay. Someone here could also just be waiting to hear from someone that maybe didn't ghost them, but but I also did see chaser, so that typically means to me that there's some sort of runner chaser dynamic going on. Okay. What else would the drastic extreme harsh cut off? Um, 
Ace of Wands in reverse. Mm -hmm. This is delay, like some sort of delayed beginning here. What's the Ace of Wands with the Seven of Pentacles? Pisces, you're really, I'm going to be honest, you're, 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 you're making it hard for me to read for you right now, okay? I feel like you need to let something go, okay? I just, I feel like there's something here, someone is very like, maybe you cut someone off, maybe you, maybe you were fed up with something here, what, okay, what's the Ace of Wands in reverse? Please, spirit. Okay, there we go. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, some of you have cut someone off because there was some sort of gossip going on. Um, or some sort of negative interaction with someone. And this could be a friend, coworker, uh, boyfriend, husband, family member. Um, you could be feeling very, like, alone. Like you don't fit in or something. <clears throat> you could be worried that people are gossiping about you or something. I'm just feeling a very like anxious vibe right now. Like maybe you're literally having like an anxiety attack. That's kind of like, I'm. it's weird because like I was fine. And then I sat down and my altar usually is very calming and nice. But like I'm just getting this. And now I'm just like, I really want. Actually, I'm going to go get my lighter because I want to light some incense and candles. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. I'm feeling a lot better now. Um, if there's any negative entities here, you're not you're not welcome. Okay, sorry. I don't know what is. I don't know if it's like your energy. I'm feeling Pisces, or just in general. Um, all right. What is secret crush? I honestly, I just feel like you're really worried right now. What is going on? Pisces. King of Cups reverse. So this is Scorpion, Scorpion, Scorpio energy. Yeah, I was seeing, seeing a lot about a Scorpio. You definitely have some sort of Scorpio around. I don't know if this is someone that you have a secret crush on. Um, the King of Cups in reverse. Excuse me. <laughs> like I'm all over the place today, guys. Um, they can be like emotionally manipulative. Um, this could be someone who like ghosts you randomly. This could be someone who, well, let's see. I'm not really getting a terrible vibe from them. I don't know. Who's this King of Cups in reverse? Okay. For some of you, I'm, um, I'm hearing like something about an affair. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I feel like someone here is in regret about something that they did. Um. I feel like you could be, if it's not an affair, it's like, well, no, it's definitely something that a lot of people don't know about. That's It's definitely like some sort of secret here with the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Um, whatever it was, was also super disappointing. And fast. It was like a, it was like a really fast, <laughs> I almost like, it's like it was like a fast, like one night stand, or I don't know if you... If someone here returned to the past or something, I'm just feeling like a. It was almost like you, you, you thought it would be a good idea. You kind of got into it, and then it was just really fast and like kind of disappointing. Sex or something. All right. What's this? Five of Swords. Yeah. Okay. You're healing from whatever this was. I'm not really getting a great energy from it. I feel like you're just kind of annoyed with the whole situation. 
Um, I mean, I don't know. I'm also getting like Pisces cross watcher energy. There's such strange energy in this reading right now. I don't know what the deal is, but it's like you could be watching for a Pisces or just maybe a Pisces placement or something. Um, what's the mask? Hidden, hidden motive, concealed, disguise, lying. Yeah, someone here is lying about something. I'm just, I'm feeling like a really deceptive energy. Like the Seven of Swords could come out at any moment here. What's going on with mask, please? Three of Wands. Okay, so you're moving on. Someone here is moving on. Um, maybe this was deception in the past. I, I feel like with the Three of Wands, this is like looking forward to a bright future here. I feel like whatever this was right here. Okay, for some of you... <sighs> okay, I'm getting this kind of weird storyline. Um, there is someone in your past. Okay. This person is a bit of a shit talker, okay? Like, for some reason, and you left them behind, but then, like, for some reason, someone went back to them. This could be someone you're dealing with, Pisces. I don't know. This is weird. They went back to them and 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 slept with them. It was really weird, disappointing, and, like, one-night stand type of situation. It was, like, really fast sex, too. It was, like, it was, it started out passionate, but it, like, it kind of ended with, like, hate, um... And weirdness. There was like an icky feeling. Like you're like, why am I... It was almost like, why am I doing this to myself? It, it could have been like a goodbye fuck or something. I don't know. Like it, it's... Like I'm just getting really weird energy. Yeah, Queen of Wands reverse, Star in reverse. It was just completely uninspiring. Like I just feel like you just reopened some sort of wound. I've been getting that in the readings lately that someone... I don't know... What's this mask with the three of wands? You could have been hiding your feelings about someone else or someone else here was hiding their feelings about someone else and like they just did it to, oh no. <sighs> I feel like I know who this is. Okay, anyway, here we have the emperor. Um. Okay. The Emperor with the um, Three of Wands and the, um, yeah, okay. So you're moving on here, Pisces. You're growing up. You're, you're, you're feeling better. Maybe this, I'm hoping this is past energy and is not who I think it is. But um, anyway, <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> I keep like hearing stuff guys like I don't know I don't know all right anyway I'm crazy it's fine um I'm hoping this is past energy of you know a subscriber that talks to me frequently on my channel and it's not like current energy but if it is you know I'm not gonna judge you <laughs> we all make mistakes right okay so here the emperor with the three of wands and mask Okay, what's with the Emperor? What's this Emperor with the Three of Wands? I feel like you're just growing up here, Pisces. You could be... I see a white beard. We have the Emperor. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, you're just disappointed right now, Pisces, and I feel like this is you. Okay. Um... You kind of, you're looking at your future with a very pessimistic view. You're looking at your future with like little, very, very little hope. Okay. About maybe, maybe finding your divine match. You could just be kind of in like a weird place. I'm feeling anxiety. I'm feeling fear. I'm feeling slight depression, honestly. Like, I don't know. Okay. So there's something about a party here. So maybe there's a party coming in or like maybe I'm hope there's also something about a third party situation happening. This could, it doesn't have to be per, like a person. It could be work or something, but oh, sorry, I'm very thirsty. I got these new supplements. 
uh, with collagen and oh my god, I am so thirsty today. Anyway, what's this party here with a uh, event, public, social gathering? Oh, Knight of Wands. Okay. This is good energy. I like this. Something's going to come in that's um, pretty interesting. I'm seeing someone with like red hair, but like with blonde highlights or something. I want to say they're like mid to late 30s, maybe. Okay. Okay, for this, I'm actually getting for you Pisces to kind of not go so crazy um, with this situation and kind of just like slow your roll, okay? I feel like it's good, but you could be kind of like in a... All right, what else here? Give me more on this. Okay. Um, so, oh my God, really? <sighs> Two of swords, something's not meant for you here. Um, for this, I'm like getting it, it appears to be good, but it's not. I'm also getting for some of you that you may need to like stop going, bit, like, I feel like some of you kind of get excited a little too easily okay about something like you kind of are like a hopeless romantic okay and there's nothing really wrong with that it's just like if you go towards everything you sh think you should you could end up hurting yourself like more like over and over and over again it's weird though because you're just like I feel like you're constantly trying to figure it out and like you just keep going towards one direction and that doesn't work. You go towards this direction and that doesn't work and then it's just like you're like well where the fuck am I supposed to go? You know what I mean? It's like where am I supposed to go? Um, I honestly feel like you need to start following the signs. Okay like if you see number synchronicities, if you... And, and then part of me feels like there's something here that is just not quite healed in you yet. Like, I just feel like there's something that you need to just look at in yourself before you're going to be allowed to meet someone that will make sense. Excuse me. Oh my God. I need to stop burping so much. Probably going to cut that out. Anyway, <laughs> what's the third part? Oh God, what is wrong with me? This is why people unsubscribe to my channel, I think. Okay, yeah. Oh, Lord. No, no going back to the past. Bad, bad, bad. Stop it. Stop. Stop doing that. Please. See, this is why, honestly, Pisces, I'm going to be, I'm going to be straight up with you right now. This is why you're not seeing, you're not seeing any results. Okay. You keep going back to the past, to like something, someone, so you keep revisiting it. If not in your mind, then and physically you do. Okay. This needs to stop. <laughs> It needs to stop. <laughs> I don't know why. All right, what's going on here with the third party and the six of swords in reverse? Oh, Temperance, yeah, no, this, you, yeah, the cards are literally, literally saying like, this is not supported. Stop it. Okay, temperance in reverse. This isn't for you. It's not. Okay. You need to be more patient with yourself and other people. It will come in when it's supposed to, okay? I feel like things are honestly, yeah, with this two of swords here and divine intervention, I feel like you're going to be blocked from anything that's going to hurt you potentially. Your your spirit guides could be sick of seeing you get hurt. They could just be like, you know what? <sighs> the, the, it's, it's almost like they're just sitting, like looking at you going, you're just not getting it. And like, they just want you to just snap out of it. I don't know. You're going to start seeing signs very heavily though. I'm going to tell you I'm seeing, hold on. Three, three, three. You could be seeing. Okay. Let's get some more. What else here for Pisces and divine intervention? Any 
Anything else for divine intervention? Thank you. Oh, Lord. Okay. Nine of pentacles in reverse. This reading is actually making me mad. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't even know what to say right here. Okay, so the nine of pentacles in reverse with the divine intervention. This is oddly enough all about you, Pisces. Literally all about you. This Nine of Pentacles in reverse, I'm seeing as you're being blocked from someone who is inevitably going to end up being someone that they're not, okay? This is going to be someone, for some reason you have like high hopes for this person, but this person is eventually going to be blocked from you in some sort of way. Okay, I don't know how or why or what, but it's something that you've kind of been going back and forth in your mind as, as well. Like, something just quite isn't adding up about this person. Okay, it's just not quite adding up. Things feel just slightly off. And that's, that's you, that's your spirit telling you this is not for you. And you could just be like, oh, well, you know, you know, it's, it's like 80% okay, right? But over time, that 80% is going to start dwindling to like <clears throat> 60%, 70%, 50%, until you're like down to like 20% and you're like, well, why did I do this? You know what I mean? Um, what, el what else with divine intervention? Yeah, the double in reverse. This is going to be released. Something will be released for you because you're just not... It, it's it's like you're going towards it, but, but something is just going to be released. Okay. Um, we're going to get... White Light Oracle. Okay. Oh, I really like this, actually. I just opened it up, and I like this. Um, it's called The Magnetism of Eros, okay? And so this card means... It's actually number one. That's actually pretty cool. I picked the first... I literally opened it up and picked the first card out. Um, 36, 46. Okay, so trust in what your heart yearns for without concern about how it will manifest. Oh my God, exactly what I was trying, like, like this is making my words better, but you know what I mean. Take steps towards what moves your heart. Reach out for whatever your soul wants and needs. Allow yourself to be vulnerable for only then you can truly be held. That which appears out of reach or unavailable to you is closer than you realize. I'm telling you, something need in like around you needs to be released. And then once you do that, it's like poof. This person is like literally just gonna like appear right in front of you and be like, hello, I am here. Let's be together forever. Like it's gonna be like that. It's well, not exactly, but you know what I mean. Um, I want to do the healing process part of this card. So take a moment to constantly consciously connect with your breath and ground your awareness in the present moment. Place your hands over your heart. Can you connect what it is to feel vulnerable, to have needs? Like, feel like how, like, your heart is, like, literally right here behind bones, right? And skin. It's, like, right here. Or maybe right here. Anyway, it's, like, it, this, this thing right here is so important. Like, this is you, okay? This is your body, this is like your life. You know what I mean? Like if this, if this goes right here, you're, you're done. <laughs> right. So like, think about, think about like how like raw life is and how important life is. Right. Okay. So this may be easy or difficult for you to acknowledge. Whatever you experience is absolutely fine to feel vulnerable, to need to be loved, heard, held and seen, for example, is acceptable and essential to your human journey. So don't feel bad for being like a hopeless romantic. Like, I mean, I feel bad for saying that, but I kind of feel like that's what you're going through. It's like, you're just like, oh, why, why, why? You know, 
Um, as you connect with your heart, imagine, feel, or intend that a beautiful white light is shining from afar. It loves you. It is reaching out to reassure, comfort, and protect you. If you can, allow it to truly hold you. Relax into its embrace and imagine the light wrapping itself around you like a loving cloak. As you do this, you may sense your heart and mind letting go of tension. I keep seeing things out of the corner of my eyes. driving me nuts. <laughs> you don't realize you have been holding. Yeah, the tension you don't realize you've been holding. You may sense that this is a white light in your heart reaching for you always deep within. Rest in this awareness for as long as feels best for you. You have completed your healing process. I feel like this would be really nice to do laying down, um, you know, maybe with some candles, some incense, and just really just like, just, you know, touch your body. Like you're like, feel yourself, right? This is you. This is your life. Like this is all you, right? You need to connect with yourself. There's something, there's some sort of message that's going to come in. You could also be seeing 111 or 1111. Whatever you're feeling or seeing at those moments, I want you to remember what those are. Maybe write them down. Write down your thoughts about what it is that you're, you know, that you're connecting to within yourself, okay? All right, Pisces, that is it. I hope you guys have an excellent day and I will see you soon. Bye.